Hi, beautiful. Today we're watching some people use relaxers completely incorrectly. And if you know anything about relaxers, it can be a disaster sometimes. It's a very serious chemical that can really wreck your hair. So many people lose their hair from them. People love to not follow the directions of a relaxer and kind of just put it all over their head, mush it around, and that's when you see all of your hair fall out. Okay, so let's not do that. And if you're not yet convinced that they're dangerous, you will be by the end of the video. Let's check it out. Up First, we have a video by Lisa J Styles. I'm perming my hair. I'm doing it right now. Literally don't even have time to like really, I'll talk to you while I'm doing it, I guess. All right, she's already starting off on a bad note and we're like five seconds into the video. She's like, I really don't have the time for this relaxer. Never mind making this video, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna make a video while doing the relaxer. Sounds like a terrible idea, I must say. So I'm here for it. Yeah, I have no choice. I have no time to maintain it. I have no time to manage it. I have no time to do anything to my hair. My hair is breaking off. <sighs> brittle my hair is a mess what she's saying her hair is already breaking off and brittle don't do this second of all how is a relaxer gonna help that it's gonna make it way worse kind of now i'm always a mess this is how i look most days if you guys watching don't know what a relaxer is i don't know like everything about them i'm not an expert in relaxers at all i've only done like a few of them in my entire life basically from my understanding they are pretty much like a perm so what a perm does is restructure your hair around those rods around the curly rods this is restructuring your hair to go straight straight. So it's more of like a cream form of a perm, but instead of making your hair curly, it makes it straight. But because it's breaking the disulfide bonds in the hair, it can be really, really harmful to damaged hair. And you really shouldn't perform a perm on already damaged pre-lightened hair ever. We're protecting the scalp though. I'll take that. Looking back, this is why I shouldn't have permed my hair. Did you just see the ends of her hair? And that is pre-perm. Your hair is already falling out. What are we doing? I'm excited and nervous at the same time because my hair is so damaged right now. I don't want to lose a lot of it. You're definitely going to lose some hair. I am calling it out. She is going to lose some hair. I don't know how much and to what extent, but... I don't know why I just got like really overwhelmed. <laughs> I'm excited. Oh, God. If I'm doing this wrong, keep your comments to yourself. Ooh, this application. Mm is a lot. Her ends look a little bit relaxed, but I watched a few videos today on how to actually do a relaxer properly. And if you're doing a virgin relaxer application, you should really be doing the mids and ends first and then going back and kind of like bringing it up to the root, but not on the scalp. And also you really want to take perfect horizontal lines or else you're going to get uneven results. I refuse for my hair to take me back down the dark road. Hi, um, we're here now. It is right on that scalp, right on it. That is going to to burn. Don't do that to yourself. From what I've learned, you want to get really, really, really close to the scalp, like almost on it, but not on it because it's really bad for your scalp and it's going to cause dryness and flakiness and itchiness and it's going to irritate a lot. I've got it all in my hair. I just want to feel my best self. So y'all do what y'all have to do to feel your best self. I want to feel better. I miss the confidence I had. Yeah. Let's stop relaxer shaming. I'm not doing that today. I'm just shaming the bad application and the doing it on, on damaged dry hair moments that I'm seeing today. But if somebody wants to relax their hair, their beautiful coily curly hair, they can do it, okay? It's up to that person. For medium to normal hair, 15, 18 minutes. It definitely had not been um, 18 minutes, but I'm scared, so I want to go rinse it out. Okay. It's skimping. Oh, being processed hair. Oh, it's going to do this. Um, pH balance and conditioner first. Okay, now she's neutralizing her hair, which is really gonna lock it all in and bring her hair back to a healthier state, a better pH level. Oh, no, 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 no. No. <gasps> no. Oh, look at. Oh, it's starting to fall out. Don't do that. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Oh no. Oh. Dude, it just keeps coming out. I literally just wanted to feel better about myself. I just wanted to make sure I kept my hair done. I wanted to stop looking crazy in public. I just wanted to feel my best self. I didn't even leave it in the whole time. And that's how life gonna do me. I feel so bad. She just wanted to feel better about herself and like look cute and her hair fell out. I know how that feels. It's happened to me before. Well, there's always wigs. Wigs can be so beautiful, you know? Even like a synthetic one, if you don't want to drop a bag on it, like anything. But I feel so 
so bad. Listen, you would look great with a shaved head and like a color or like blonde and shaved. Come on, let's make it a look. Oh, okay. Let's not be so aggressive though. Your hair is in a very, very fragile state right now. As we know, pulling on it is just going to make the problem worse. Let's just let it dry. Get it at a healthier state. When hair is dry, it is much, much stronger. So pulling it when it's wet and just relaxed. Let's not do that. It's actually like the worst thing you can do. Oh, shut up. That's a lot of hair. I don't think you're understanding how much hair. That's everything. Oh my God. What the hell is she going to do about this? I suffered for a year, y'all. Depressed. You're still beautiful with or without your hair, okay? Don't let your hair change your beautiful outlook on life. Look. <laughs> Stop, don't make me laugh. Oh, it's not funny. <laughs> I put it in a ponytail. What is this? Ah, no. So, I'm just gonna be rocking this like shirt on my head. I was gonna wait to post this until I came up with a solution so I got my hair done so I came back looking wonderful, but let me just be real. I made a mistake. I honestly still don't feel like it was a perm. I really think something was wrong with my hair. If you watch, like while editing the videos, my hair looks so damaged and like brittle and just like messed up. Lisa, it was the perm. Your hair could not handle that perm. And um, let's only do that if your hair is extremely healthy. Um, uh... I think you should go short. I think you should just get rid of it a hair, start brand new, grow it out, maybe not permit, and it'll be great. I mean, you look beautiful anyways. So a little lace front moment when you feel like having long hair, boom, that's what we're doing. I'm so sorry that happened to you though. I feel for you, I really do. This next video is by Naturally Humble. So about a week ago, although I had already processed my hair up into a lighter color because it was getting a little yellow. From that moment on, I haven't done anything. Today, you know, I was just like, you know, I'm going to just do it. I'm going to perm my hair, refreshing up the color, bleach the color, bleach my hair, and perm my hair at the same time. And as I was doing my research, it wasn't a lot of good ideas. <laughs> What the hell? You bleached your hair today and now you're gonna perm it the same damn day? That's like the biggest number one no-no ever. Do not do that. Ever, 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 ever. Oh my God, your hair is so compromised already. You're gonna now put ugh, perm solution on it and it's going to all fall. And also she was doing, she did research on this and then she still went forward with it, even though everybody was like, that's a bad idea. And there really wasn't a lot of videos or a lot of research. A lot of people were doing relaxers first and then the bleach. And then people were doing the bleach, then the relaxer. And it kind of just met at the same point. Some people was shorter, some people was longer, some people was just doing it. This time I'm just gonna do it for myself. No. I honestly feel like I'll be okay. I bleached my hair today just to get a little bit of the orange roots and the black roots that I did have. Um, I didn't leave it on no more than 20 minutes just because I knew I was gonna do the same day perm kind of thing. Now, since that had happened, I kind of waited about two, three hours and I ended up buying this this i believe this one is like for the longer hair and then you also have one that has the short for short hair as well i just chose this box because whether it's short or long it's pretty much going to do the same correct maybe I, I don't know but this is why we're going to find out together there are different kinds of relaxers that are more gentle and more intense so definitely do your research before getting a relaxer there are also i believe different ingredients in certain relaxers that can be a little bit safer to use on colored hair. However, I don't think they ever recommend using it on colored hair. Like even doing a curly hair perm, I always stayed away from colored hair because you just don't know what's going to happen. You don't know what's underneath that brown hair. They might have colored it blue and then pink and then brown and not told you about it. And then before you know it, their hair's on the floor. If you're a hairstylist, just stay away from like perming colored hair. It's just never a good idea. I also got the hair wraps. For your finger waves once you're done you can just wrap them up i'm stressed i'm about to saturate my hair like i mean my hairline all of that i'm not playing and i'm going to leave this in for at least like no more than five six minutes i'm gonna put a whole timer on this thing i'm so annoyed because her hair already looks cute it looks so good why are we perming it hey guys like look Oh my God. I should have just took a picture before, but it's okay. Oh! 
Oh, today is gonna be a lot of screaming for me. I know we didn't protect that scalp before we just put all of that relaxer right on that scalp. Oh my God, it is on her entire head. It is so not good to perm hair this short because you can't even avoid the scalp. Oh my God, I really hope she just leaves it on for like one minute. Like, Just give her like the tiniest bit of relaxing on that hair and then move on because if she goes beyond five minutes or even beyond like two minutes, that hair is gonna drop to the floor. Don't be aggressive with it. But it's relaxing, y'all. I think I wanna take it out right now. I don't even wanna wait for five minutes. Okay, and also, when you relax your hair, you wanna keep it in the right position where you want it to lay. Like, you just wanna keep it in one place. Don't touch it. Oh my. <gasps> Just seeing if my hair is being pulled out, you know? I like to work it in, man, for real. Today's not the day we work it in. Don't work it in. Just rinse it out. Too much time has passed. Oh my God, she's still working it in. This is crazy. Like, I haven't had a burn in years, okay? I've been natural, short, whatever, because I've been through all the changes. Today is not the day you're getting a perm. I have a feeling this is all gonna go to in two seconds. It's time to take it out. <gasps> Horrible, right? Oh my god! But I'm not mad. You're not mad? I've never been this low in my life. This is a lot of hair that's gone. Oh. Oh. I guess just finger waves isn't for me, or um, yeah, go to a professional. Don't be me. Oh no. This is really bad. Don't do the same day. That's not worth it. Like, it really isn't. I have the guard on because I still have this, like, blonde. So I still have hair. I just don't. What I had, I burned it off. The only thing I can do is just take care of it. She can't even use the clippers because her hair is so mushy. She needs to, like, go with zero guard and just shave everything off. That's the only way we're removing all that damage. Mm -hmm. As I was cutting my hair, I was just basically realizing like, wow, you know, I've always been more so bald fade and didn't have a problem with it, but I also had a little bit more hair on the top of my hair than this time. What really shocked me was the simple fact that I had a lot of hair. I had a full head of hair, you guys. You guys seen it from the beginning and then boom, patches out of nowhere, like, really really crazy i'm so sorry this happened to you i'm sure this does not feel good that's really tough i feel for you oh that's heartbreaking sorry i've always said i'm not gonna ever grow my hair back and being bald is one of my greatest things i've ever done in my life i trust the journey and um, i'm trusting the process and i'm here now and i'm ready just to pretty much take on what's next for me it was a reason behind all of this but um, as I kept shaving, I started noticing that I'm like, you know, it's not too bad. It's just like a ball fade. That's how I just pretty much got through this clip. I just reminded myself how it's so close to just having a ball fade. So in this clip here, I was really kind of hesitating on recording and actually putting this clip into the video because the back part was really like, whoa. Oh my God, hair means so much to people. That's why I love my job. But like, I feel so bad. Damn, I thought I was gonna come in here for some laughs today and I'm over here tearing up. What the hell? So let me go ahead and jump right into it. Um, I wanted to go ahead and go explain uh, why I got so emotional and why it hit me in that moment. She looks so good. She looks so good, bald headed. What really um, hit me and had got me emotional is the action of actually cutting my hair. I've been in barber chairs for um, so long, for almost six years, because that's how long I have cutting my hair and um, the action of me cutting my hair, I was like, woo, this is something different for me versus someone else standing over me, cutting my hair, knowing where, you know, to blend, cut, whatever. Versus me, I'm just like, mm. I've never done that. And I've never thought I would be fully bald. You look great. I feel for you. Obviously you already know, let's never do that again. I don't think you need me to tell you that. Relaxers and, and bleach, they hate each other. Okay, it's a relationship made in hell. I am at a loss for words. That was an emotional roller coaster. I was not expecting to tear up and 
feel just so bad for those two girls that that happened to. That is not a good feeling. If anybody's watching this and you're thinking about perming your hair, go to a professional that really knows perms well. They can be really dangerous for your scalp and your hair. And if you don't want something like this to happen to you, don't try it at home. That's my advice for today. Well, if you would like some really nice, healthy, thick, hair, consider shopping my hair care line at xmonohair.com. It is linked below for you. You can also find a hair color there. All of our colors are packed with bond builders and healthy, nutritious ingredients, and our products will make your hair so silky soft. And you can also check us out on Instagram and check out me on Instagram, where you can find more videos and more fun stuff, as well as hair inspiration. And if you would like to binge and watch more videos like this, you can do so now, right here and right here. Hit the subscribe if you want. That is all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra. Bye. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.